subscribe to mark tutorial youtube channel and press this bell icon so you can stay updated with latest videos if you are a businessman then there have always been to manage so many bank related works for which you need to go to bank and many a time it also happens that you go to the bank but that work remains incomplete for example bank reconciliation bank reconciliation is a process which is a basic requirement of business in which you want to make a match of your cash book with bank book and this is very time consuming for you or your accountant manually due to which it affects the business growth so now we are going to tell you the best option to get rid from this problem if you will use it then you can do bank reconciliation and other banking related works by using accounting software so now let's see the solution of its problem mark erp is the only software which you can use for all processes related to online banking without login any bank portal through the software like bank reconciliation so now let's see that how you can reconcile your banks and in mark erp with the help of this process which we are going to tell you you can reconcile your bank ledger with more than 140 available banks now suppose you didn't have done the admin registration with any of the online banking option like here we click on other banks then software will ask you to register here where we will fill these details here for securing owner data or to prevent misuse of the data this step is mandatory if anybody restore the data anywhere by doing backup or if they copy the mark folder anywhere then with the help of this option they will not be able to misuse the data and none of the operation will be executed related to other bank option so in case if any unknown user or an unauthorized person will go for the mark online user registration then admin or supervisor will get to know about this because they will get an otp and due to this admin or supervisor will be acknowledged that somebody is trying to misuse their data so now here you will fill the details and do the save and register once the admin registration gets done connection with server will get started and in case if there is an issue in connection establishing then it will be shown like this some issue while connecting then you will simply click on try again after this suppose if admin details are already registered then a window like this will directly open for user registration and now here user will fill their user registration details and you will take care of it that the star placed in whichever fields are mandatory fields as well as focus on that there is validation as well on these fields next is allow server ids and computer ids in this those ids will be in to which you want to give authority to use mark online process and the benefit of these fields are for system verification that the system you are using is authorized means any of the unauthorized person will not be able to do bank related operations with any unknown system and focus on this thing that if multiple users are using this then you can mention their computer id in separate line and similarly if there are multiple server then you can mention multiple servers as well in separate line after this now suppose if you don't want to register yet you just want to save the data so that in future if you want to do changes in any field then you can do it so click on save and if you want to do the registration then click on terms and conditions and do agree then save and register after doing save and register you will get the session of 25 minutes and as 25 minutes gets completed then you will receive a message session time out and then you have to open other bank option again and after registering you will get confirmation email on your registered admin's email id in which you will get your login credentials and to which you can use at the time of data restoring but if in case you will get a message user already registered that means the username you have entered it is already registered by any other user as well if you are registering it first time then you can register by changing username and if you have registered it already but due to some reasons like 
your company is changed or data is corrupted or you have restored the data before registering then you have to click on login for already registered then you will enter here your login credentials and click on login if your login credentials gets matched then an authentication pop up will be shown to you you will get otp on your admin registered email on the screen and if this user is registered on any other admin email id then you will get otp on that email as well then after verifying both otp click on submit and then a message of user restored successfully will be shown to you and now we'll do okay and as you will press okay this screen will be shown to you after this you can edit the details by clicking on edit here then is change password and unregistered and authentication is required for these both cases of edit means whichever email id or phone number you have entered in admin details or supervisor details authentication otp will be sent on that email id or mobile number it will not proceed further until you will verify it like if we change password then it will ask you here to change password system authentication required do you want to continue if you will do it yes then here it will ask otp should be sent on email or mobile or on both suppose we will select mobile and click on generate otp and now the otp you have received that you have to enter here and verify it and the same process will be applicable for unregister as well after this like there are our banks and ledgers we have to fetch their transaction details so we have to link the accounts to bring those details so for this we will go to link new account so the number of default banks will be shown to you here you can click any bank from here and you can search your bank or more than 140 available banks from here now if you will click on any bank from here suppose our account is in icici bank then we will click on icici from here then banks related to that bank will be shown here to you like corporate bank business banking etc now suppose there is our icici corporate account so we will click here on icici corporate and then whatever are your net banking credentials enter them and register it and we'll take care of this thing that mark do not save any information with them of the user related to bank as you will register then here you will get an account reference id which is like log id whichever process you have done for the registration whether that login has been successful partial or failed that log has been kept by the software which is called account reference id after this if credentials gets verified and success is shown in status so the number of accounts linked with particular net banking will be shown here and suppose if your multiple accounts are linked in it from which you can use only corporate account so you can remove other accounts here and in case if credentials do not get verify like if they are incorrect then failed will be shown in the status so now you can click on back button and can verify credentials again next is linked accounts details will be shown here of your all of the linked accounts and if you don't want to process this particular account further then you can remove it as well after this next is account details so you can select here of whom you want to view the account details suppose we will select all type so details of all of the linked banks will be shown here after this click on account map with ledger to map account with ledger then select that ledger to which you want to map and then click on save mapping with ledger after this you can check transaction details from here simply here you will select an account select from and to date then show so in this way transaction details will be shown here after this is modify admin and the details of admin can be edited by admin any time so now you have seen that if admin have rights then they can access all options and if the user do not have the admin rights and if they open this window then they have the accessibility of only link new account linked accounts account details and transaction details if account is not registered means user is not registered with mark server 
then user will get a message please contact your supervisor after this let's see the bank accounts which you have mapped with bank ledger how you would be able to do their online bank reconciliation so after mapping the bank ledger when you do the bank reconciliation then data reconciles online and this fetch the data from transaction detail and reconciles automatically now like here software will ask you bank name and in up to date you will mention the date till when you want to reconcile and when we will click on okay then this kind of screen will be open in front of you this is my icici marks ledger and this is bank statement and you can see this is shown in red color means this is non reconciled because there is no clearing date in it you can see we have deposited 5000 on date second but when bank has cleared that payment it is not shown similarly you will see here we have deposited check on date 7 of this amount which is shown pending in the status if we will click on reconcile so on the basis of this voucher narration and this description in statement you will see the check number is here in narration there is zero digit and in description there is no zero digit so software is doing tally the amount of both on the basis of it on the basis of it software is telling the entries are reconciling simultaneously with each other and those which are not reconciling are shown towards below are in marks ledger and in statement as you can see here are few entries and you want that software will show its smartness by auto reconciling these entries so what software did here the four entries are reconciling as you can see in date in books as well it is date 2 and in statement as well it is date 2 normally there cannot be a date before that suppose we have given any check so either it will get cleared today or after and these are those entries which are not reconciled till yet which are in our mark erp books and here in details in bank statement there are entries which are in statement but are not reconciled now what we will do now suppose here in mark erp books its date is 7 serial number 3 is shown and here in bank detail statement there are two entries of 2000 but you know that the serial number 3 belongs to the reference of this statement so you will select it 3 from here and similarly you know that serial number 6 belongs to this so here select 6 then click on update so a window of are you sure to save the changes in books will be displayed in front of you click on yes to save it so in this way software will show you an alert message that the number of entries are updated yet as you will click on okay you will see these entries in green color means these entries are updated and reconciled and the entries are shown to you in red color are not updated till yet means these are not reconciled so the entries which are in red color let's update them and reconcile them for this we will click on pending so in this way software will show you pending entries now software is asking you that against which ledger you want to put these pending entries now suppose it's an entry of interest firstly we have to do its entry in mark so for this from here we will select ledger we have selected bank and ledger so you will see bank charges will be there in entry against ledger then click on add to books from here so into mark books our entry will be saved and now software is asking you are you sure to save changes in books then we will do yes so friends in this way you can reconcile your bank online in mark erp thanks for watching